Hello, this is Greg, the Burrow Hunter, um, and today I'm going to teach you about bandsaw safety. And um, one of the, a few of the things that you have to do before you even turn on the saw is you have to have your safety equipment. You have to have your eye protection, uh, ear protection, and your push stick and push pads. Uh, these save fingers. Years ago when I was just starting off in this, uh, safety wasn't really a concern of mine until I had a couple of emergency runs to the hospital and fortunately I still have my fingers and I want to save your fingers. Uh, safety is necessity. So above all else, safety equipment. Another safety aspect is have a sharp blade you have to have a sharp blade because it'll cut through the wood uh, easier. The duller your blade, the more pressure you have to put on the saw to get the wood through. Uh, so um, keep a sharp blade. Even before you start cutting your wood, uh, number one, your safety equipment. Number two, you want to make sure that your your blade is tensioned right, can't be loose, uh, can't be too tight either because if you don't want to wear out your bearings and your saw. Um, and you want to adjust your fence to the wood uh, that you're going to be cutting. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to um, cut rounds safely as a bull turner um, or that's probably the most readily available wood is rounds uh, from from trees and how do you cut those things safely there's some do's and there are some absolute don'ts um, and I know that there's other videos out there on how to cut rounds uh, where you have to put a jig and stuff like this what I'm gonna show you is without jig and it's gonna be safe uh, another safety tip is Never have your bandsaw running until your wood is on your deck. So I'm going to grab the round right now. Bandsaw's not running. And I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut this Dutch elm uh, for bowl blanks and uh, just go through the process of, of uh, how I do it. So when you're going to cut a, uh, a round, this is what you don't do. You, you don't want to start cutting it like this because what that can do is as soon as that those teeth of the blade hit it can start spinning and it'll grab your wood and it'll hurt your bandsaw and it can hurt you it can actually uh, pull your fingers into the blade no matter how hard you you have tension on the wood it can still grab it and yank it out of your hands and then pull your hands into the wood. Uh, so I would never cut a piece like this. My first cut is going to be just like this. It's going to be going straight through the pith. And the pith is the center of the, of the log. That's my first cut because there's nothing that can uh, roll or grab. It's just going to start cutting straight through. And also, uh, I need to adjust my fence to the pith. So let's do that right now. So right there, I have my fence adjusted that's going to cut straight through the pith. And uh, it's going to cut easiest because there, the wood is at the very bottom, your support wood. There's no suspended wood on the table, so the blade cannot grab and yank uh, it one way or another. So I'm going to make my first cut right now. Also, make sure that you adjust the height. You want your, um, your blade height or your guide height to be just above the wood. This is the safest. The more exposed your blade is, the more opportunity there is for you to cut yourself.
before you move this kind of wood, unless it's fallen off the end, you, you want to shut your, your blade off because these are heavy pieces and your mind is on the piece, not on the moving blade. So you want to make sure your blade has stopped. Some of, some of the bandsaws have brakes that are located about right here. Uh, use your brake to stop that blade so that you can um, move your, your blocks of wood safely. Because these, these are about 15 pounds a piece. And when you're moving this kind of stuff with a, and try to do it with your blade moving, there's, there's too many things that can go wrong. So now you have a flat spot to where we can make a horizontal cut on the half round. And that's safer because it's supported and all in on the table. And I want this I want this to be square, so I'm going to uh, use my my table square to lop off the end. So we're going to make the first horizontal cut on this flat round and again safety in mind. Right now if I start cutting this I have four inches of exposed blade while I'm pushing this wood through and I don't want that. I want to bring it down to just over the wood. That lessens the exposed blade and makes me more safe. So we're gonna we're gonna cut cut it square so I'm using my square. I'm gonna use my push stick too because um, this gives me 12 inches. It keeps my hand further away from the blade. Uh, get used to using your push stick. You can see right here on my push stick where it's hit the blade. That could be my fingers and uh, we don't want to do that anymore. It's painful and expensive, and losing digits is uh, not fun. There you have it. You have uh, one safely cut bowl blank out of uh, Dutch Elm. This video is just to remind everybody, respect your tools. They have uh, lots of power. I know you understand that. But uh, we can't be reminded enough, even myself, uh, to be safe. Because uh, I do a lot of production work uh, for a lot of clients of mine. and. So you get into this routine of uh, just doing the same thing over and over again and sometimes you forget about safety. Every time I turn that key on for my bandsaw, there's something that happens inside of me that says, be safe. So I'm passing that on to you, be safe.